From the award-winning KCIW Newsroom, Newsbreak. Highway 199 probably won't open for another three or four days. The Smith River Complex fire has pushed rocks, dirt, and down trees across the road, making it impossible to travel through. Now, that fire has already charred some 8,000 acres and forced many in the Smith River Canyon area to evacuate their homes. And according to Public Information Officer Tom Stokesbury, Level 1 and Level 2 evacuation notices are in effect right now for the towns of Gasky and Hayuchi. Right now, the Smith River complex is comprised of 12 um, active fires. Um, it originally was 16. We have contained 100% four of them, but we still have 12 of them actively burning. Um, the weather and the coastal influence that people are seeing here in Crescent City, probably Brookings, is not affecting the fires for the simple fact that these fires are all at 25 foot 100 elevation. And up there, it's there's no coastal influence. It is low 90s, very low RH, uh, very steep and rugged terrain. So the fires are still burning in some fuels that are very dry because this particular area only got about 75% of its normal rainfall this year. So we're dealing with some dry fuels. We're dealing with some steep, rugged terrain. And of course, we have that, uh, some winds being pushed on that fire. So we're, we, we got some challenges ahead of us, but, but we got the right people in place. Evacuations? There are still evacuations in place. Um, the town of Gasky is on a level two, Hayuchi is on a level one. Um, and how that works is level one is, you know, it's kind of like get ready. So you're just aware that, you know, something could be happening. Your level two uh, is your, you know, you get ready and then you set. And then that's where you have uh, two hours, right? And that doesn't mean you have to leave in two hours. That just means you need to be ready to leave in, in a couple hours, in, in two hours. And then, of course, there's level three, which is the mandatory where, you know, the sheriffs were in the search and rescue will come and knock on your doors and let everybody know. And, of course, there's the... They call back emergency numbers and things like that. Well, I know folks in this area are a little bit concerned about the Patrick Creek Lodge. That area. lodge is still standing. Um, we have firefighters all around that doing structure protection. We do have, uh, you know, of course, the, the major impact is Highway 199, uh, and that road is still closed uh, from mile marker 16, I believe, to mile marker 31. And that is just inundated with debris, rocks, uh, fire weakened trees have come down. Uh, we actually had a fire vehicle take a couple rocks to the window and completely blow the window out. So very uh, dangerous conditions. Um, so speaking with Caltrans uh, today, California Highway Patrol, it looks like it's going to be at least a minimum of three to four days at the earliest before we're going to be able to get that road open and make it safe for the public. And what number should people call for more information, Tom? So we have a, a fire information line set up now that will bring you directly to the incident management team, and we're handling all the information, and that number is going to be 707-383-9727. And then, of course, if you want to email, we have an email address for fire information, and that's going to be 2023.smithrivercomplex at firenet.gov. Fantastic. Anything else you want to tell me? Um, I, I would just say if you don't need to be up in the Gasky area or on Highway 199, kind of stay off of there. We have an influx of firefighters coming in right now. We've been rated as kind of one of the top priorities in the nation. So we have firefighters and resources coming in from all over the U.S. to help us with this. Um, so we just don't want people on the road if they don't have to be. There's going to be a lot of traffic with firefighters and things like that. So with our top priority being firefighter and public safety, we want to make sure we're keeping everybody safe. You've been listening to Public Information Officer Tom Stokesbury talk about the Smith River Complex fire. And we remind you again that the number to call for information on that fire is 707-383-9727. 707-383-9727. Again, 707-383-9727. Now, KCIW will continue to follow this story, and we will bring you updates as they occur. For KCIW News, I'm Lori Gallo-Stoddard.